I'm sure it was going to be Ben. I'll give anything but another chance for him. Yeah. Well, if you get one, don't blow it. When we get so old and useless, <laughs> you speak for yourself. I'm still in my prime. whoever the kid was who nicked here. Selling phones for a couple of quid. You get any blow you want down a bus garage. It's not right, is it? Can't even catch a bus without worrying if you'll get mugged. Thanks. Do you hear that, baby? It's, 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 OK. Yes, all right, I heard you. There's obviously been a nasty upset. I'm sorry about that. Shocking for all of you. But Les has had a heart attack. You don't drag us into your drama, Shirley. Pam, Phil and Ian had to identify the body. Yes, you've said all that. Some poor young man with Ben's phone. You've said all that. And please don't make this so hard. Ian said it was Paul. Don't you think I'd know that? Keep it down a bit. What a thing! Don't you, don't you think I'd know something like that? You! Awful to say that to me! I'm sorry. No. Come on. In. In! No! Go on! You started. You might as well make a complete fool. You ought to get your facts right, Shirley Carter. Before you start spreading your, your dreadful, hurtful, terrible tittle-tattle. What's been said, Pam? Paul is in there, isn't he, Les? I'm, I'm just a messenger. He's still dead to the world. Yes. And that's how vicious rumours start. Paul is safe and sound, and at home, and fast asleep in his own bed. Look! I'm so sorry. It all with a pinch of salt, whatever gets said. Well, I didn't hear Paul go out this morning. It must have been early. You did hear him come home. You mustn't worry. Promise me, Les. You've got to think of your heart. I'm sure this is all a big mistake. What mistake? Not now. Not when everything is, is finally... God would not be that cruel. Pam, what? <laughs> it's not him. It's not him, we'll tell them. It is not him. 